Hi friends, in today's video uh, I'll be showing you how to make this weaving pattern using three base wires. This is what it looks like in the copper, but I'm going to be trying to explain the process using thicker wire. Okay, so I'm going to be using this thick wire for the demonstration and uh, I'm going to use a different color wire for the weaving uh, technique. This is a uh, 22 gauge aluminum wire. I'm gonna need two pieces of this wire and the way I calculate how much I need is for example if you're gonna make a bracelet that is about seven inches long then my weaving wire is gonna be uh, four times that uh, length. In this case would be about 28 to 30 inches. Always add extra. It's better to have extra than to not have enough. And so we're going to need two pieces of, um, in this case, about 30 inches. And this is going to be my other weaving wire, which I'm going to use the same color as my base wires, just to be able to see the contrast. So I'm going to wrap my yellow wires around one of my core wires just like that putting them together it's gonna make like an angle like a 90 degree angle and I'm going to wrap the other piece exactly the same like this now I'm gonna take uh, another of the core wires and I'm gonna wrap my weaving wire around it once just to secure it just like that and then uh, let's take this piece of wire with the two yellow ones, put it right in the middle. And the last wire is just going to go on the side, kind of like a, just like a sandwich, you will say. So the one with the two wires goes in the middle. And now I'm going to secure my wires by wrapping them around once just like that so now I'm going to continue doing my weaving pattern by just wrapping the two wires on the edges I'm gonna skip the middle one there you go this is what it's supposed to look like now here's when we start adding the yellow wires to the to the weaving so I'm gonna take the one on the very back and I'm going to pull it forward kind of in like a diagonal way and it's going to go in between these two wires and I'm just pulling it down in a diagonal shape uh, and it's going to form like a V shape kind of thing or like an arrow you see just like that now uh, important is uh, to push your two wires back and make sure that the red wire goes right in front of them. I want to wrap it once. And I'm going to wrap it around this other one once again. Okay, once I did that, it's just to kind of separate the wires a little bit. I'm going to bring back my yellow wires up to their original position. Just like that, don't do anything else, just pull them back up. Get them out of the way so it's easier for you to weave. And I'm going to start wrapping again. Always skipping the one in the middle and just wrapping the two on the edges. Like that. This is what it's supposed to look like. And from here on, it's kind of like just a repetitive process. So I'm going to take the yellow wires in the very back and I'm gonna pull it down in a diagonal shape there you go just pull it down and again I'm going to wrap my wire around it in front of them to separate them one time once you do that you pull them back up and as you can see, we are exactly the same place where we started. We pulling the wires up to their original position. 
There you go. And we continue doing the same thing. The wire on the very back is going to be pulled down across forming a V shape again. So practice this step and then uh, once you get it, once you kind of have it down learned, you can just keep doing it. Here I went ahead and did a little bit more and like I said, just always make sure that your yellow wires are pushed back and your red wire will wrap around not from behind not from behind but in front of them like that because if you don't do that it won't look like this and it's gonna be messed up so if your weaving pattern in the back doesn't look like this then there's something wrong you might have to go back and try again so now we continue doing the process weaving our wire once we do that, we pull them back up. And now we continue weaving this. Uh, so you can see I'm, I'm taking this a little more faster. I'm gonna keep doing it, but a little more faster. And it's looking pretty nice. Here we go separate the wires pull the yellow ones back up and when you're doing this you do not have to use two different colors i'm only doing this just so you can understand it better and see where each wire goes if you practice this and learn it you probably don't need to use two different wires but it helps when you're learning to use two different colors that way you can um learn it better and faster so from here on i just continue doing it and uh, i will show you what it looks like once you are f uh, further down this process to see what it looks like once you you've done quite a few of these steps Okay, so here you go, it's looking nice. And this can be used for bracelets or maybe on your jewelry for some pendants. I don't know, you can decide what you do. But this is what it looks like on the back and this is what it looks like on the front. And uh, okay guys, well, I think uh, for today that's it. I, I'm enjoying doing this new jewelry uh, tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know and follow me for more tips.